What's up, y'all? And um, how y'all doing today? And uh, before I get started, uh, let me just uh, tell you that today is Saturday, um, December 11, and I will not be going to the forest to uh, get all my woods out of there into uh, the city. The guy said that um, he had worked so much yesterday that um, he's tired and he wants to rest uh, today and uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. So he could only help me on Monday. So that's where we are at. He said that um, he worked yesterday until 10 p.m. And his body is like, he's tired right now. And he said that he can't, he can't work today and tomorrow. But promised that uh, he will uh, carry my things on Monday and bring them to the city. So that's where we are at. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, the stories at hand. Uh, Ghana has introduced uh, the vacation pass uh, to all travelers by air. You know, the vacation mandate to all travelers. And um, let me begin by saying that uh, I think, in my personal opinion, that many more African countries will follow suit. Uh, for we know uh, they are all puppet governments. Um, only a few real ones, like Ethiopia, are independent. Uh, they got to do it. I mean, officially, uh, they got to put the, the vacation mandate officially, you know. For the most part, though, uh, airlines companies, especially uh, the white-owned ones, uh, do the enforcement of those uh, mandates. So it's not even uh, the African government, for the most part, which uh, does uh, the enforcement. Uh, the enforcement is always uh, done by uh, white-owned airlines and we know that the west is going banana uh, with the vacation drive especially to our community you know uh, the vacation is aimed at us more than anybody else i don't think asians are like into that thing like that i don't, I don't think so but you know the vacation is is more aimed towards us than anyone else and we all know why you know these are our enemy number one we are their enemy number one and we don't think uh, they are our enemy number one but they think they know that we are our, we are the enemy uh, number one because of our uh, generics so I strongly feel uh, that most, if not all, African countries will mandate uh, the vacation. And I think that uh, it would be best to make your move uh, while you still can without uh, being violated, you know. For those uh, wishing to go to Ghana, I would uh, suggest that you find a country uh, by, uh, bordering uh, Ghana and land there, then cross into Ghana uh, by road on land. You know, like I said, white airlines company are the one enforcing these laws. You know. Western uh, Western government pressure puppet governments in Africa to pass these uh, draconian 
laws which are then enforced by white airlines company you know i've traveled at least four times uh, during the pandemic to and from america and back to africa you know and i can tell you uh, the authority in africa know the real deal and can care less with the testing and all of uh, that crap you know most countries in africa the authority don't even wear masks anymore at airports and stuff like that you know the last time i came uh, the last time i came in uh the only people wearing masks were us the planning and the ones uh doing the testing at the airport you know airport immigration and the police i uh, didn't even bother wearing masks and stuff like that they don't they're not into this thing they know it's all oh, it's the people know but the government the government people are being pressured to act a certain way but after all even government's officials are people and i tell you uh, the immigration don't wear masks uh, the police working at the airport don't wear masks uh, the people working at the airport don't wear masks they are over it it's like uh, they don't even feel like you know uh, uh, they don't even feel like bothering anymore they don't even feel like playing uh, pretend uh, doing protocol they don't and it was like a month and a half ago when I last I uh, passed through an African airport you know these people don't care less for masks you know I uh, baggage claim I, I had already took off my mask the only place like when I got out of, when I got off the plane I was wearing uh, um, I was wearing my mask to the testing uh, COVID testing area and after that area I took that thing off like when I was done like when they took my sample I took that thing off and it was out of my out of my nose out of my face since then I never wore a mask again and it's been like a month and a half you know Western government are going to keep putting you know pressure on African government uh, because they have uh, the most to lose and uh, this the stock market uh, is all they care about and uh, the evil that's being perpetrated against our community also you know like I said we are the most targeted with the vacation you know and we should move accordingly nobody wants to be you know taken you know by some you, you know you don't act dumb and don't be dumb you know uh, you gotta protect your body your body is the most like independent thing i mean if you, we can't have an independent as a whole because as a whole we are we are captive but as individuals we are not like it's is the choice becomes our uh, personal you know if you want if you want to be violated then they sure will violate your body but if you like nah it's not happening then it won't happen so you know in the in i mean in the individual basis we can all be either liberated and independent or we can uh, accept to remain captive and being violated 24 7 whenever the whenever they feel like violating us they will they actually enjoy doing that so they're never gonna stop and it's up to each and every one of us to uh, choose not to be uh, violated uh, so for those still uh, wishing to move to Ghana uh, you still can do it though it's going to require going uh, the extra mile you know if Togo uh, the, that's a country by uh, bordering uh, Ghana if Togo doesn't uh, have a mandate in place 
then uh, buy your plane ticket to land in Togo and drive to Ghana then uh, go into Ghana by land I mean if you have uh, somebody who could uh, do that for you get you if you know somebody in Ghana who could uh, drive to Togo pick you up in Togo and drive you back to Ghana uh, you can do that and uh, and avoid being uh, violated you know no one on land is going to ask uh, you to show proof of the vacation and not on you know any land border in Africa no one no officers on land borders is going to ask you to show proof of uh, vacation they they like even if they were asked to do that they wouldn't do it they wouldn't do it believe trust and believe that they wouldn't do it even if they were asked to do it the only people enforcing those laws are white people you know african know the real deal i mean even the african working in the authority know the real deal they are not going to enforce that's why white airlines are doing so I know I know this because I travel like four times there during the pandemic and I know that why airlines are enforcing this this the, like this thing because they know that the rest of the world know the jig is up so they are going to play uh, the policeman so you are traveling with uh, a white airlines or you traveling from a white airport are going to have to show proof of the vacation before uh, board, uh, before boarding up uh, an airplane but once you get to Africa then all that thing all that mess is like off like people don't care for that anymore people care for more real thing like uh, food family and stuff like that nobody got time for the bull so like I said African authority don't believe in this thing but uh, the pressure coming from Massa is intense so they have to pretend that they are with Massa and you gotta play you know you gotta play your part and you know don't let nobody you know violate your body but these puppet government are going to keep doing what our master tells them to do we should expect them to do that i mean we are not dumb no we think we are no we got we we got brains to think and we know uh what's up and we know what's happening and we can we expect these uh government to always bend to massa you know orders and and will but we the grassroots we the people you know we hold the final verdict on whatever is uh whatever concerning our our bodies so also there are two worlds in africa two worlds uh one that is dominated by uh, white supremacy which is small and weak and there's another one that's dominated by the grassroots which is us and we are a lot stronger and locals authority understand the power of the grassroots and there are you know certain things that they are not willing to do because of the backlash you know so like i said uh the ghanaian uh, government is really not going to be pushing the vacation mandate like that on its people but the airlines company will do especially to those coming from uh, the west or going to the west they will you know enforce uh, those laws but the government in africa the government in ghana is not going to enforce that so once you go past the airport nobody's going to bother you with the the, the mandate with the with the with the uh, proof of the vacation so traveling within africa by land shouldn't be a problem 
so i think that are those still wishing to go to ghana find you a country that doesn't require the vacation mandate and lending you know buy your plane ticket to land in a country that doesn't require uh the vacation uh mandate and once you get there you know go to ghana once in ghana no one will bother you with uh the vacation you know talk to uh like uh the Ghanaian government like uh many other government can only push uh these things so much as to avoid uh backlash with the with the grassroots you know and it and also you need to respect uh, other country other african countries to follow suit to make so you know to make uh, the vacation mandate for all travelers you know coming into uh, the country and i think you should uh, for those uh, wishing to travel you yeah, should uh, make your move quick as quick as possible before it's too late cameroon uh the country where i reside the country where i am they're still not requiring uh, travelers by air to show proof of the vacation but i know uh that they will uh they are a puppet government too and they get their um they get their orders from uh from the west you know so they are definitely going to mandate the vacation uh traveling by by air so you know uh, for those who are still waiting uh make your move uh before it's too late and if there's one country that require uh the mandate uh, go to one that doesn't you know and i know um when all is said and done they will be like a few african countries who are not going to require you uh getting the vacation prior prior to landing uh in those countries you know so uh africa got nothing uh but like two independent countries uh, which ethiopia is one of them you know everybody else is puppet you know and we also understand that you know white supremacy is desperate and would uh do anything to meet his goal so let's move uh carefully as a family until we uh tackle this evil entity uh live living its last uh days so you know i don't even i don't got much else to add except that uh uh, we all need to be careful i mean these people like even a blind man can see that uh, uh they are living their last days they are desperate you know and uh usually when somebody desperate uh, it means that they are afraid you know they are so afraid that uh you know you gotta be careful around them so uh what else like uh share uh, subscribe to the channel and uh you know hit us with uh with the cash app the paper that helps it helps us you know get um a lot of things uh ready for the diaspora in case they would want to uh get out of america get out of europe and uh come to africa you know that should help us build uh housing for those who would want to come uh, visit or stay in africa so uh like on that note like uh share subscribe and uh i will see you on the next one peace